A lot of people keep saying, if you leave the hospital against medical advice, insurance will not pay for your visit. And that is not true, that is a myth. This is a home removal of a fiberglass cast. We don't recommend this because if your bones are not fully healed, then you could turn a non-operative fracture into an operative one. We wanna get new x-rays and make sure that you don't have to go back in a cast. He called him a NPC. If you get gored by a bull, there's about a 30% risk of having a thigh or groin injury, a 20% risk of having a leg injury, and we'll have to treat you for penetrating trauma. Nail through the boot, up to 10% of these can develop infections. Pseudomonas is responsible for deep bone infections. Clostridium is responsible for tetanus. EDS is a connective tissue disease. It can present with other syndromes, but it leads to elasticity in joints. So it can lead to early hip, knee, back, and shoulder pain. And here you can slide the shoulder out of socket. Look at this devious ASF walk. He's so devious. He's a straight. Genu recurvatum or knee hyperextension so can be completely normal. What do we Scientists got? Scientists were able to mimic Nessie Amun's voice by recreating his mouth and vocal cords with a 3D printer. We've come so far. It allowed them to produce a single sound. <gasps> This is a look at an orthopedic procedure called metacasting. It's for early onset scoliosis in children under the age of four. The way it works is the child is put to sleep under anesthesia, put on this table, and a circumferential cast from the shoulders down to the legs is applied. It's changed every two to three months to avoid surgery. Did you know that on average, humans can lose up to 170 pounds of skin cells over their lifetime? That's almost a million skin cells a day. Bible bump, preacher cyst, I, yeah, okay, or no, ganglion. No. If they rupture or nice. burst, there is a possibility yeah, that is. they may come back Works and so need well. surgery. If you've ever broken something and had a cast, then you know how good of a feeling this is. Getting your cast off. We do it nice and slow with the cast saw, and you can have cast for different parts of your body, and then we pop it open like so. Does anyone else have a piece of lead stuck in their hand from when they were a kid? There's mine. Very common. And no need to surgically remove. This was so crazy, bruh. Have you ever had this happen to you? So he's taking this cast off. Let's talk about what exactly goes into taking a cast off. He's doing a technique called a bivalve technique, where he's making cuts on both sides of the cast. I had it on for removal. seven months. JK, it was only five weeks. Felt like it though. After he does this bivalve technique and cuts both sides, there's a certain technique for doing this. And this, you can see here, he always keeps one finger on the cast while he's using the saw. This is to prevent the saw from plunging deep into the skin. The saw blade vibrates back and forth and there's a little vent on the saw that allows it to suck all the cast debris away. But even though it vibrates, if you pushed really hard into the skin, it could cut it. After you perform the bivalve, you use a spreader to spread it like apart. For part two. And once the cast is spread, then you can get it off. This is a look at a PICC line, which is a peripheral central line. It's used for long-term delivery of medications. Most commonly, I use it for antibiotics. You may not know this, but many of the foot and ankle problems which we see and treat can almost be completely avoided by proper shoe wear. A slip and fall is one of the most common types of orthopedic injuries. You may have heard of a fall on the outstretched hand, which puts you at risk for breaking your wrist. You can also injure your ankle, hip, or other joints that can be dislocated as well. Veins work by bringing blood from the extremity back to the heart. If you block the vein off, it will collapse. Your veins actually have valves in them that prevent backflow and do this. The ABCs of trauma. Airway, breathing, circulation, disability, exposure. None of them were needed today. Broken or bunion? A good trick in medicine is when we have the other foot to compare it to. What do you think?